What's up guys, Freezy here. Blockhive Global just put out the pre-registration page for summer event. It is minus 15 degrees Celsius where I live, so perfect time for the summer event. So we're gonna check out the update page which is what you are seeing right now, and go over the roadmap with some quick advice on pulling the new student for the next 3 months. First of all, we can see the first part of the summer event is going to happen on February 22nd. Scrolling down, we see the pre-registration page. Seems like we're getting 1200 pyros for free by doing this, so it is pretty nice. Going down further, there's more free stuff, so I'm assuming we're getting 2400 pyros for free when we get the update, which if I remember correctly, is the same amount we got on the JP server, so we're not getting anything less, which is fantastic. By the way, this event is actually my favorite event in Blue Archive so far because of this thing, the summer photo board. This is actually a furniture for the cafe, you get it by completing event activities, and you can click into it to see all the event photos even after the event has ended. Not gonna spoil it here, but the event story is quite nice, feels like a nice summer vacation and we get to keep a nice memento for all the good memories. Oh, and the second half of the summer event also comes with my favorite furniture set, which includes these two swimming pools. Now we got the fun stuff done, let's go over the roadmap. One thing to note is that some of the swimsuit units from the summer event are limited, meaning they don't get added into the regular pool after the banner ends. They won't be gone forever, but to get them again, you have to wait for probably a year until the event gets rerun. None of the limited students are OP like Koharu, but all 4 limited students have top tier performance. So just picking whoever you like is totally fine. But let's go over them all and get a brief summary of what they're good at. First batch is Azusa, Mashiro, Tsurugi, and Hifumi. Azusa and Mashiro swimsuit will be on limited banner, Tsurugi is obtained through event, and Hifumi is non-limited. Her banner will drop after the event limited banner. I listed out the character's area of expertise on screen, pause and read them if you want, but basically Summer Azusa is the one you want if you've only got the budget for one. She is a god tier blue damage dealer, and has a defense reduction that is stackable with others, so she's great on three bosses. Summer Mashiro is absolutely broken in arena, and is necessary if you want to be competitive, but not really useful outside of the arena. Summer Tsurugi is a top tier welfare student with very good performance on Shirokuro Extreme, so I highly recommend farming the event for her fragments. The last is Summer Hifumi. Um, she's not very good, and she's not limited, so I don't recommend pulling her at all. Next batch, we got Summer Event Part 2, probably in the second half of March, since Summer Hifumi takes the first half of March. On this update, we will also get the assistant system. This allows you to borrow exactly one student from your guildmates per raid ticket. This is where having Koharu feels really nice, because you can just borrow a fully stacked damage dealer for every raid, and clear extreme raids with ease. Also the max level increased to 73. This is a big deal because the extreme bosses are level 70, and once the students outlevel the boss, they take less damage. Now for the students, Summer Hina and Iori are limited. Summer Izumi is obtained for free by playing the event. For the most part, Hina and Iori are roughly equal in terms of raid performance. They're both top tier in red raids but are replaceable without much issue. And there's the borrowing system, so honestly which one you pick doesn't really matter that much. Summer Izumi has a lot of short stuns, she is useful in some challenge stages, so a great unit to have, and doesn't need a lot of investments. There's also the Rhythm game, but I'm extremely bad at these, so let's move on to April. We'll get the Area 15, which has another cafe upgrade, so do it as soon as possible for more stamina. There's also PvP Season Change. Season 2 is Field Terrain. It is the season for backline snipers. Both Karin and Summer Mashiro are s rank on this terrain, and they can both insta-kill Tsubaki from full, so healers are kinda useless, and most fights end within the first 40 seconds. Personally, I had the least fun in this PvP season, because the two backline snipers are unkillable, and they are capable of winning the fight on their own. 
Summer Mashiro completely dominated the season, so if you care about PvP, you know who to get. Now for the April students, Bike Shiroko, Small Shun, and Casual Saya are all not limited, and none of them are super strong. Bike Shiroko has the unique ability to massively reduce the enemy's damage output, which may be useful on insane difficulty, but not really useful on extreme meta. Small Shun is only slightly better than Azusa on Urban, so a situational pick for Urban Hieronymus, but not much else. Casual Saya gets top score on Chesset Extreme, but can be replaced by Hibiki for roughly the same effect, so only useful for min-maxing. Kirino actually saw some rogue success in PvP as a hard counter to enemy snipers, but she requires a lot of investments, so not recommended. Based on the roadmap, it seems like Nexon has slowed down the updates by a bit, so we get more time to prepare for each banner. So far my experience as a free-to-play on Global is pretty good. Hopefully Nexon keeps this up and change my mind about them. For now, I'm excited for the future updates. It is nice that they do these roadmaps so we get more info to prepare. And that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know in the comment section if you like these update videos or not. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.